and this Tuesday morning was actually like 70s and like partly cloudy. So it was like a really nice day. And I was just so enthusiastic. I was so excited that the day was so good that I uh, put on shorts, not even thinking that I'm heading to my lab that's requiring me to wear pants. You can't wear shorts just because you're dealing with like a lot of acids, a lot of basic stuff. And um, like when I got to my lab, I was far away from my house. So the closest pants I own is like 15 minutes away. It was like the worst feeling I've ever had. <laughs> because then they would kick me out of my lab and then I'd probably lose a letter grade. So I was like panicking, so that's what I thought I would do. I'd like, I just sprinted out, I started running back and like, there was no way I would have done it, but I was still committing to it. I was running all the way back and uh, I'm like looking at my like watch, it must have been really close and I finally realized that I wouldn't have made it at all to my dorm. And I, uh, I saw Sam walking in one of the doors, like, this is crazy, but I'm gonna go ask that guy if I can switch pants with him because I'm in such a dire situation. I don't know if I was scared, but I was more just like confused, I'd say. <laughs> and just like, uh, um, didn't really know how to react. To be honest, like, m more of the reason I did it was just cause if I would have said no and just turned him away and just kept walking, I probably would have felt a little like guilty throughout the day. And I made sure to get our, his phone number because I was like, like, I don't want those pants back eventually. <laughs> well, along with the, being asked to do a interview like a, for like an NPR station, Simone Biles, the Olympist, she had liked the tweet and I was like, okay. So a lot, this has been going around quite a bit and I, she liked it. So I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I actually ended up getting an A in the class and without you, I literally wouldn't have got it. So like, to this day, I'm still thankful that I have that because um, I'm also a pre-med student, so my GPA really matters. And like, I still think about it like all the time. So yeah, thank you so much. I've given you thank yous so many times that you're probably sick of it by now, but like yeah, still thank you so much. It's been a wild ride on this story, so.